I have no TV contracts, and yet I must pay bills, and the rent, and all the other expenses the grown-ups who didn't care about me in the long run had to pay. My name is Carter Stone, but some of you may remember me as the former star of the most popular Canadian children's television program, Caillou. See, back then, I was a spoiled brat beyond words, and my little sister could somehow handle herself better than me. When my parents tried taking a serious tone with me in the hopes of putting a stop to my unacceptable behavior, I continued to act out. No one stopped me. Whining and complaining got me everywhere and anywhere I wanted to. Every adult I knew thought I could handle my own problems. Then, I met a diabetic security guard who told me, physically, that my bratty behavior was not okay. You're an adult, Caillou. Act like it. Jesus. Changing my name was a good step in trashing my identity, albeit in an insecure way. Was it worth it? I just don't know. There is a lot of real anger and hostility running all throughout me. This time, it's not because the circus is actually tomorrow. Mommy is one month away from getting the house foreclosed. Daddy's not doing so good health-wise. And Gilbert has gone senile in his old cat age. <coughs> if you're wondering about Rosie, she only talks to me during those obligatory phone calls you give your family members during the holidays. During those said phone calls, she taunts me about my fan clubs. Lovely people. A little entitled, but I'm humbled that they take the time to walk up to me while I'm at the grocery store and recreate what I did on my show back in the day. And sometimes, their parents will get frustrated and walk up to them and tell me something along the lines of, You sucked! Or, Your show ruined my kid, asshole! The only other PBS character who was hated as much as me was Barney the Purple Dinosaur. And we actually used to empathize with each other about how much parents were annoyed by us. But then he got fired for accidentally swearing on set when he stepped on a tack that wasn't supposed to be there. And now I don't have anyone to relate to or with anymore. There's a few positive things in my life I have right now that I can point to. I still got my parents. I still keep in touch with Leo, Clementine, and Sarah to an extent. And I'm trying to get back in shape after all that cocaine and wine made me out of shape. It also destroyed the relationship I had with like actual girlfriends who were once dating me professionally. I only abused substance to dull the pain and I can whine and complain about how that didn't work, but nobody would want to hear that. And now, to refocus my attention to this present moment of watching this not particularly funny comedy troupe. So, I didn't leave PBS. They firmly yet politely asked me to leave and proceeded to cut ties with me after only a hundred angry letters and emails to the president at the time. She had a lot on her plate, and you know this easily offended society we're living in these days. The leading children's entertainers of past and present and the world leaders want to raise a generation of children and families who will be nice to others. We may have seen another country elect Trump to lead, and that was a disaster, but we're fixing that mistake sort of thing. Hey man, I've been in and out of rehab to a fair amount of AA meetings, thrown out of halfway decent elementary schools as a child, preteen and teenager, bars, one of which you can find not allowed at the Strand Ballroom posters with me making an angry face on them, and a couple of family restaurants. 
The reason why those previously mentioned posters exist is because I got a discounted ticket to see Pearl Jam play there one night, and after all the drinks and marijuana I had, would not stop yelling at them to sing Telephone by Lady Gaga and Beyonce. And the continual screaming at everyone who barked at me to shut up didn't help matters. If you're wondering what I've been up to these days... I keep trying to make a comeback through DreamWorks Kids, and all I hear is noise about how my show didn't teach the execs or their kids anything. So, I've been taking whatever odd jobs that are available to make ends meet, and the once in a blue moon guest appearance at some live show. In fact, now I'm in a suburb of Toronto, now that I completed participating in dinner with the characters at a local school. It's an elementary school that still has a bullying problem, but I digress. It went mostly well if you disregard all the parents who were creeped out by me being there. Some of the kids didn't even know who I was at first. Now to go back to that hotel, get some good rest, check out in the morning, hit up Enterprise Rent-A-Car, and drive out to see Mommy and Daddy for Easter weekend. Humbled, I can still see mommy while she has her house. I'm just a dude who's 40 each day. I. Ah, fucking forget it. I hate my life. 